Hi everyone, and thank you for joining the next level of recruiting with LinkedIn recorded webinar. My name is Zena Hermush, and I'm the Associate Marketing Manager here in our MENA office. And I'm very happy to be joined today by one of our experts, Basim Kharrat, who is our Customer Success Manager. On today's agenda, we will mainly focus on the different types of recruitment journeys that you will experience on LinkedIn.com, which is for free, versus LinkedIn Recruiter, which is our corporate solution. The best way to clearly demonstrate how these journeys differ is by breaking them down into three steps. The first step is to find the talent that fits your requirements. The second step is to contact these potential candidates at scale. And finally, we will talk about how you can manage and organize all your recruitment activities in one place. Now I would like to introduce you to Fred and Rachel who are both recruiters and are currently sourcing for a Director of Finance role. Fred uses LinkedIn.com for free, which is done from his personal account. And Rachel uses LinkedIn Recruiter, which is the corporate account used to source candidates. Now let's follow them and see how their searches and their experiences will differ. Step one, as I mentioned earlier, is finding the right path. Fred and Rachel's searches begin in a very similar way. They start by entering director and finance in the search field. Then they go ahead and they press the search button. Now let's look at the results that Fred gets. Remember, Fred is using his personal LinkedIn.com account, which is for free. As you can notice, he can only see and find candidates within his extended network, which means he can only have access up to his first, second, and third degree connections. He won't be able to see talent outside of this network. And the talent that he is looking for might not even be in those search results. Whereas if we look at the results that Rachel got by using LinkedIn Recruiter, we realize that she was able to tap into the entire network of 400 million professionals on LinkedIn, including those outside her extended network. If the talent she is looking for has a LinkedIn account, this means she will be able to find them. Because with LinkedIn Recruiter, she has no restrictions on search capabilities. This is one of the many advantages you can have with LinkedIn Recruiter, which is access to all professionals on the LinkedIn platform, whether they are within your network or not. Another clear advantage of LinkedIn Recruiter is the fact that Rachel can search and view profiles without limits. As you can see on the slide, Fred has a monthly commercial use limit that he can't surpass when it comes to search. But Rachel has an unlimited access, as we said before, which means that she can search the network as many times as she needs. Now, after finding all the candidates that fall under finance and director, Fred and Rachel want to refine their search results in order to get a more manageable list. They are now looking for someone who lives in the United Arab Emirates, has six to 10 years of professional experience, works in the banking industry, and has been in their role for more than one year. Now let's see how they will proceed to refine their search results. Fred can only use basic filters, such as industry and location, to refine his search. But he must review profiles individually to see other criteria such as years of experience and years in current role, which means he has to spend a lot of time searching through 2,203 profiles to find the right candidate. Rachel, on the other hand, has the option to use more than 20 advanced search filters provided by LinkedIn recruiters, such as function, seniority, company followers, candidate status, custom filters, and more. This automatically helps her narrow down her search to a much smaller list. LinkedIn also offers Fred and Rachel the opportunity to source while they are away from their desk. And that is available through saved search alerts. However, Fred has only three saved searches and can get only weekly alerts, which means you will need to prioritize those alerts. While Rachel can create up to 50 saved searches, and set alerts on a daily basis. New candidates for all her projects are automatically delivered to her inbox. 
Another big difference and advantage that a LinkedIn recruiter can offer. I will now hand it over to Basim, who will walk you through the next two steps, which are contact and manage. Thank you, Zena. So now I will talk about how to manage with candidates at scale and how the journeys of Fred and Rachel also differ in this case. So once Fred and Rachel have identified the best candidates, they take different approaches to outreach. Fred can only reach out to his first degree connection via email. Email is our internal messaging tool on the platform. And seeing that the chances of Fred knowing the candidate he shortlisted is very low, this means that he will not be able to talk to them unless he sends them a connection request and they approve it, which makes the whole recruitment cycle longer and tougher. Rachel, on the other hand, can contact any member on LinkedIn by directly sending them an email. On LinkedIn Recruiter, you will have up to 150 email credits per month. This means that she can message all her candidates she shortlisted with no restriction or prerequisite. Even if Fred was lucky and he knows a few of the candidates he shortlisted, he still has to write individual emails for each of them and at each time he has to start from scratch. But Rachel can draft email templates, save them, and use them anytime she wants to message potential candidates. She can send one email to 25 different candidates at the same time only in one click, which saves her a lot of time. In addition, LinkedIn Recruiter gives the option to find things in common between you and the candidates, such as connections, experience, or universities in common, which means you can personalize the email before sending them. Now let's talk about managing all those candidates and organizing all your recruitment activities in one place. As Fred and Ray should continue to continue their search for director and finance, they manage their candidate pipelines in very different ways. Fred uses an Excel spreadsheet to track candidates for each search. He has to update this sheet manually as the candidates move along the sourcing process. For example, if Fred is looking for a financial director, and let's say he had an interview with many candidates, he will have to manually go to the Excel sheet and update the sta statuses for each interviewed candidate. He will have to put manually the first one as interviewed, the second one did not pass, and so on. While Rachel stays organized with recruiter smart projects, which automatically update candidate statuses as they move through the search and sourcing process. We can also notice that Fred and his teammates lack visibility on each other's activities. Occasionally, Fred reaches out to a candidate who has recently been contacted by another team member. This creates a lot of confusion for both the candidate and the company and can even affect a company's reputation. This doesn't happen with Rachel, who is using LinkedIn Recruiter that helps her see the team's sourcing activity. This is to say that her team has visibility on projects and activities with candidates. Each member on the recruiter dashboard can view the recruiting activity such as projects, statuses, notes, and communications with the candidates. This will prevent her company and any duplication of effort and will keep the team on the same page. So the final stage in this step is talent pipelining. Fred does not have a system for keeping track of, of quality to candidates. Whenever he gets a new request, he's starting from scratch. Whereas Rachel uses talent pipeline in Recruiter to track and manage her pipeline of candidates regardless of their source. Talent pipelining features will help you track where are your leads initially coming from, what's their status in the sourcing process, and filter them by tags. Now I would like to end this webcast by pointing out the main advantages of LinkedIn Recruiter at each step, whether it's find, contact, and manage. LinkedIn Recruiter will allow you to search and view profiles without limits, save time by filtering and reviewing fewer profiles, source candidates while you sleep with the save search option, 
reach any candidate on LinkedIn, save time with templates and bulk messages, as well as personalized messages, stay organized with projects, keep your team aligned and on the same page, pipeline talents to stay ahead of the game. Now thank you all for joining and have a great day.